All right, another opening mail with Jim. Got some more. These all appear to be AliExpress. My head says, oh, there they are. They fell off. Ah, so this, so I'll go and open this one up. This is the enclosure for the power cells. Boom. Boom. There we go. So, and this has got the USB charging on it. Sweet. A little flux in the bottom of it. Interesting. So, yeah, so this is the input, I believe, and then this is the output. It's got USB or micro USB. Or is that the input? This is one of the downsides of buying stuff on AliExpress, is it doesn't always have, or rarely ever has, documentation. Oh my goodness, I got charge in here. Look, little LEDs in the bottom lit up. Oh, that's battery level. Ah, that's cool. It's got a battery level meter. I did not know that. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, this must be, these must be the inputs. Because that makes sense that you'd have the inputs coming in there. And then this is the output. But then it's got another place it's got output on it, too. So I have to, I'll have to go to the website, look at the documentation, and then get out my multimeter and experiment with that one. Cool. All right. I have another package that came today. Oh, I know what this is. This one is... I think I know what this one is. Aha! It's the banana plugs. Dun, 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 dun. So these are what I'm going to use for the plug board in the front. So I went with, I looked at a few different options. So I went with these uh, banana plugs, and I think I have way more than I need, but they weren't terribly expensive. So these are the plugs that are going to plug into it, and then these are the uh, receivers for the plugs, which I didn't like the red plastic on these, but my thought was maybe I can take that off. Yeah, so I'll probably take that off and just have it like that on there or something. So, yeah, anyway, banana plugs. So they're, they are a single connector, even though the cord, the cord I got was had dual connectors in it. These are just single connectors, um, but that's fine. So I'm curious on these. I'm gonna pull these out, put them over here. Since that's all the packages I got, so ta-da, I'm done today. Um, so this goes into there, so I can pull this guy off. Let's try this section now. Let me decide that's what I want to do. So that plugs into there, and I'm curious. It looks like, yeah, huh? You can stack them. That's weird. Maybe I guess if you want to have two things connected to the same spot, you would do that. But so then this is, you put the cord through the hole there and then crimp it down. So I'll probably take the little colored bands off too because I don't need colored bands for my use case. Yeah, but the hole, that's really kind of interesting. Does that go all the way through? It does. So there's a hole that goes all the way through into there. So you can stack these. I don't know if I need that for my use case or not, but I keep having my hands through it all. So. All right, there we go. That's cool. Cool. Yay. All right. I also exchanged an email with, I think his name is Mark, from the S&T Geographics, the guys that make the PCB, pre-printed PCB for the Open Enigma project. 
and he said that the, because I'm getting a slight variation on it. Mine's not going to be a true um, authentic looking one. It's going to have these upright um, LEDs, so it's going to look like Mixi tubes, which I think is really cool, but not uh, historically accurate. Anyway, all right, there you go. That's opening mail of Jim today.